these are the pure sine wave inverters not to buy we have a workmanship I cut them cables that are attached to this just to open it as you can see all the capacitors are blown and all this was running was a small 86 watt fridge out of my shed So, just let you know, don't buy cheap. I just bought this so I could just use my shed on it. It lasted a week running a small, small fridge and a few little small lights. As you can see, this is 3200 watts. Um, I don't know what happened. And the, sh the shed wasn't damp. It's a nice wooden dry shed. As you can see, great workmanship gone into this. I bought this from a Chinese company. I remember I bought it, it was blue. They sent me this black one. And he said you can use it for these items here. So I'll just let you know what not to buy. And there's some more junk I bought. This was from China as well, surprisingly. I used this for an emergencies. We had a big storm here in Ireland last year and it depended on this to get me through the few days that we had. Now in fairness it only lasted about two weeks and it wasn't on constantly. As you can see, disaster we had here. Just went on fire. So if you see that, don't buy it. I got this grid tie. And now in fairness, this lasted six to eight months and then it just stopped working. Don't know what happened to that either. And I got this other grid tie inverter. Same thing again. Just stopped. I checked everything and nothing has gone. Surprisingly. No fuses. No capacitors. No inverters. I checked everything I could. But obviously something's gone. But... So... Just let you know guys what junk what to buy and not what to buy all the way around a nice selection of them of junk from china so if anybody wants to know names of the companies i'll send them on to you okay guys that's me thanks for watching